open the scene file named soldier.ma. This file can be found in the getting started directory that you set as your Maya project. When working with UVs, it is useful to divide the workspace so you can see both the model and the UVs at the same time. In the panel menu, select panels, saved layouts, first UV texture editor. The perspective view and UV texture editor appear side by side in the viewport. You will notice that the UVs for the body, arms and legs are scattered in a pattern that doesn't resemble the actual model. This isn't very helpful for painting a texture map. To simplify the job, you need to divide the mesh into multiple pieces that you can then texture individually. Generally, you want to divide the mesh into pieces that can be unfolded into approximate square or rectangle shapes. This requires some pre-planning. In this lesson, you divide the body mesh into a torso, arms, and legs. In the panel menu, select panels, orthographic, front. The perspective view changes to an orthographic front view of the soldier. Click the mesh with right mouse button and select face from the pop-up menu. Drag select the faces on the right arm up to the shoulder. Now select Mesh, Extract. Now you change the selection mask back to Object. You can select the hand separately from the rest of the body. Repeat steps for the more areas. Use the pictures as references for the boundaries of each extraction. This leaves you with individual meshes for the arms, legs and chest. The head, feet and hands have already been done for you. This division allows you to texture each part individually. 